What's up and welcome to Banshee Boat. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on if you want a piece of that boat in action every Saturday at five o'clock. Today we're gonna to talk about some important things you need to know prior to buying a boat and some major questions you need to ask yourself before you commit to purchasing a pleasure craft. So before you go doing something impulsive, watch this first. Oh! Banshee Boat, baby! Close. Banshee boat for everything boating. These maneuvers could be dangerous if not operating the boat properly. Do so at your own risk. Make sure to always have boarding safety equipment, pleasure craft license on board, and always wear your PFD. Be conscious of those around you. Respect the shared water weight. Remember, never drink alcohol on boat. Always place safe on the water. We're at that time of year approaching the spring. There's a ton of people right now itching to buy a boat. I know this is particularly true both this year and last year with everything going on, especially if you don't have a sled, you're not into ice fishing, and the snow hills are closed because a lot of businesses are deemed non-essential. Everybody wants a vacation. You're definitely looking forward to sunny days on the dock. This video isn't gonna hand you a bunch of reasons why you should get a boat because those reasons are endless. Endless. It gives you a vacation, a new way to have fun and experience nature, and it can be as calming or hardcore as you want it to be. The real question is, have you thought this through? How could this be a bad idea? I really had to think hard about this one and I'm reluctant to admit it, but sometimes the pure bad assery of boating can cloud your better judgment. You know, just the thought of getting on plane. Wind in your hair. And the smell of burning two stroke wafting up your nostrils as you turn the Sorry, what's this video supposed to be about? How could this be a bad idea? Ask yourself these questions. What features have drawn you towards a particular boat? Is it an outboard, inboard, stern drive, bow rider, deck rider, cuddy cabin, center console, dinghy, wake boat, jet boat, pontoon boat? Make sure these aren't completely aesthetic justifications for your purchase and that your boat actually matches your budget and your lifestyle. You might like the idea of a certain boat, but that doesn't mean that boat necessarily fits your lifestyle or your budget. Something else to consider? What kind of environmental conditions are you bringing it into? Or maybe it's just not right for the activities you plan to do. Looking for a boat when you don't have one is kind of like grocery shopping when you're hungry. Everything starts to look good and you're not as selective as you should be. What are you getting yourself into with a used boat? You might get more baggage than what you plan for financially. So what should you look for in an outboard? And what are some red flags to tip you off to look the other way? Here's a checklist for those of you buying a used boat. If you're paying attention, this will help save you money in the long haul. If possible, you should take the boat for a drive out on the lake, see how it idles, Make sure it shifts smoothly. Hopefully you can get the boat running. Then you're gonna to wanna to check it in forward. You're gonna to wanna to check it in reverse. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it goes smoothly. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it starts all right. And make sure it can get to wide open throttle. The throttle basically controls it just like the car gas pedal. Or if you don't have that option of taking it out for a spin, you can always get it running with a pair of muffs and a garden hose. I'll drop a link in the description for a how-to video on that. Another thing, I would definitely perform a compression test on the motor to see how well it's gonna perform. You can get one of these gauges online or you can have this done at the shop. I'll drop a link below if you'd like to do more reading on that. Come down here and check out the engine mounts here. These engine bolts where the motor mounts onto the boat. You wanna make sure that that looks good around it and doesn't look rotten. Everything looks solid and uh, it looks like everything's in good shape. Make sure to inspect the lower end for chips and damages and make sure your prop's good. I just wanna come down here. I wanna make sure my propeller spins freely and it spins true. Check your trim tilt. Make sure it moves up and down with ease and make sure there's no leakage of hydraulic fluid. Test the battery. Check the bottom of the boat for any noticeable cracks indicating impact damage or a structural issue. 
check the trailer, verify the lights work, and make sure your bunks and rollers look good. If you're buying a new trailer, you want to know when the last time your bearings were greased and when your bearings were done by a trained professional because they're very important depending on how far you take your boat. Just for general safety, you need those bearings greased up, inspected, and good to go because you don't want to have any problems there. Make sure the tires aren't bald and don't have any leaks. And yes, a spare would be nice. Take a walk on the interior floor of the boat. Make sure there's not any soft spots or rotting areas. You can even check out uh, the front. You can even take a closer look at the inside of the bow here. And it looks like it's in very good condition inside here. If it's not in mint condition, like there's tears in the seats, that could be a reason to barter the price down lower, especially if they're asking a pretty penny. Ask them about any recent maintenance. Ask them about what their procedure is to winterize. Make sure it's been cared for properly. Another thing, any add-ons the seller can include for you, extra PFDs, bolt ladder, protective cover, anchors, oils, cleaners. These are all things that add up and save you money in the end. Make sure to snipe as many freebies as you can. Make sure you check those seats underneath, all inside. Check all the things that the boat comes with. Make sure everything's secure. Really take a close look at everything. And before you go to all the trouble, ask yourself, do I have the time to maintain this investment? Does my schedule even allow for it? Preparation for boating day takes time. Learning takes time. General maintenance takes time. Do you have enough cash for this? Winter storage fees, oil and fuel, parts, repairs, courses, boat insurance. If you want to save your money and still have a rip in good time, I would suggest going with an older model two stroke. This will give you the luxury of boating without the luxury price tag, and you can do a lot of the maintenance yourself. Some people, however, might disagree and feel more confident having that warranty with a new boat. If you want to contemplate outboards, I'll drop a link for our recent video, two stroke versus four stroke outboards, and you can figure out which one of those options appeals to you. Something else to consider? Everything that could go wrong. Are you prepared for emergency situations and the general stress a boat can introduce to your life? Got my bailer, gonna need it cause my boat's got a lot of holes, yeah, yeah. Consider the stress of being in close proximity with other boats at the marina or the dock, and for the love of God, learn how to back up a trailer. If you just wing it, and you've never done it before, and there's a line at the boat launch, it's not gonna be your finest hour. Please watch our video in the link in the description. If you've never backed up a trailer before, it's probably a good idea to watch that. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. This is Banshee Boat signing out. Check out one of these other fantastic videos. You won't be disappointed.